Welcome to Kempo for Intermediate, Lesson 20 with N guys. I'm Sensei Roger. I'm Paul. And we're going to bring you some uh, couple techniques. This one is called Five Storms, is the new one. And then we're going to review the meltdown with the front kick. But before we get into that, we want to share you, or share with you a quote. It's by Winston, Winston Churchill. I can't speak now, guys. I'm trying to rush this. Take Let me slow that down, huh? Take your time. All right. Here we go. Success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. See, I started failing, didn't I, when I spoke? Yeah. It wasn't right. I had to take my time. I had to do it over. Right. So that's basically what he means by it. Mm -hmm. We're going to fail to fail, but if we stop our enthusiasm towards doing what is right, right. You know, because we're going to just do what? Keep failing. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, we were talking beforehand is about that enthusiasm. You know, how much enthusiasm do you really have when you're failing? It'll beat you down. But that's what he's pretty much talking about. Mm -hmm. Don't let it beat you down. Right. There's good on the other side. You know, that could be speaking to somebody right now. We're right now in the Christmas season. Right. You know, the holiday season, the new year's starting too. A lot of people are just really stressing themselves out. Mm -hmm. And what is the best way to fail is when you crack under stress. Yeah. You're going to fail in many ways. Oh, yeah. So we just wanted to share that. And then before we get into the techniques, you guys know that studying the martial arts could be hazardous. It could be dangerous. Mm -hmm. You could hurt yourself in different ways, even when you're taking it slow. I was doing uh, jiu-jitsu with one of my kids, you know, teenagers, and uh, we were doing a, like a foot sweep. Well, my toe got caught in the mat and rolled under my foot. So if you see me limping, that's why. I hurt my toe pretty good. So you can have injury. Even myself get injured. Mm -hmm. I usually injure myself most of the time when I'm training with a partner. But there's occasionally where I twist an ankle or something else, or kick the bag or something on my own, and hurt myself doing mm -hmm. this on my own. So you guys know the risk that you could hurt yourself or even death in extreme matters mm -hmm. could happen through martial arts training. Right. So you assume the responsibility now that you got this knowledge if you hurt yourself. All right, let's go to the technique. We call this one five storms. I like this. This is a mix of uh, two techniques of the Tracy system. I cut out the neck break, so they put the ending of another technique in here. So throw the punch here. He's throwing that left punch. I'm going to come out like this, right? With my hand on my hip? No, absolutely <laughs> not. So I'm like, listen, I don't want to fight you. What are you going to do? He's throw the punch. I'm here. See, in, out, hammer. Break. Chop here. Now, look, his arm is here for some stupid reason. Probably come back like this. Now, now at this point, I'd probably do a hammer fist, but mm -hmm. the chop is what we're training on here. So if I get you here and you're lined up, that's where I'm going for is a chop to the throat. Yeah. I think that last one you're going to have to have some alternatives because yeah. I mean everybody reacts differently. If I've already been chopped in the neck once, I'm going for head protection. So. Here's the idea. You could do this. This could always become a hammer fist. Mm -hmm. Right. It could be a back fist. I could even change this to the body. Or I could just take it away completely and do something else. Right. That's the purpose of training technique mm -hmm. is so you can have a you know, throw punch pop proactiveness. So I'm proactive. Oops, whoops, 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 whoops. sweep. <laughs> Break my toe again. Right. <laughs> I gotta be careful with that stuff there, guys. I'm hurt. So if you do train and you're still hurt, you gotta be very careful. Come on. Right. Alright, so here it is one more time. Throw the punch. I'm here. Oh, I hit his arm. But look what was there. Oh, look. Look, look, look. I do that. <laughs> you see how he snapped that hand back? That's one of the things that I didn't know he was gonna do that. But right. like, oh, I'm there. I'm glad he did that. Did that so he didn't know what I was going to do. Right. See, that's how it is going to be, guys. Right. So I get a lot of uh, fluff sometimes about, you know, the techniques of being kept going and all that. Yeah, holding arm out there. Hold yeah, the arm yeah. out. Yeah, letting the guy do it. That foot steps forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, switch with the other foot forward and throw that punch. Now here, I'm here. Right. I'm breaking here. I chop, chop. I could do the same thing. I didn't move that foot, did I? Oh, I should have moved that foot. Got right. it away. Right. That's how we're going to do the move. All right, let me show you the move, and then I'm going to show you again on uh, Paul over here. So we're going to, hey, my hands are kind of here. It's probably not going to happen. My hands are down here mm -hmm. to get this to this. Mm -hmm. Right. So in order to really get this to, this mm -hmm. second one to work, right. that's there. But 
like you showed me here that hand wasn't there for this block but it did set up my hand so it is a good idea to have that all right so we step out of the line of the punch block in block out hammer side step here break the eye chop down chop back up okay so pull out the punch i'm out of the way see how you kind of came around a little bit but it wasn't wide enough before mm -hmm. if I stepped, it would hit me. Right. It was enough to where I went like this still. I dodged it. I'm here. Mm -hmm. So now snap that hand punch. Or hand punch. Snap that hand back. So I'm here. I'm here. I'm up here. See, I got an eye and a palm in the face. I don't have to be flicking the eye. Whatever I take. Anytime right. I put that hand in the face, you guys seen me do that the fall before. Mm -hmm. Cranking his head back, put right, my hand right. out there. Getting really intrusive with that hand. Right. So that's how I do it down here to here. Chop, chop. I like that one. Five storms. So you know you guys are getting close to intermediate for advanced. So we've got to get a little more theory involved on this. So the thing is, hold your punch on it, please. So the punch, this is, I'm having to hold it here for a reason so you can see something. I'm not going to come straight in and get punched in the face. Even if I did the block, I might get it to work, but I might ram my foot into his foot. Now we get real clumsy, but if I didn't block fast enough, I'm getting punched. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now here's the thing is, I'm blocking and moving, setting up to here. If I can go quick enough, if his hand's going through like that, mm -hmm. he's trying to punch through me, a lot of people do that. Right, right. I seen in the MMA, my last cage fight, one of the guys went to punch another guy like this. And he over punched, twisted, and landed inside his face, knocked himself out. Another guy came down and hit him a few times and they called the fight. So it does happen. Even right. guys training to do amateur fighting and mm -hmm. things like that. You do sometimes see it in professional fighting, right. guys over swing. So right. if that swing comes through, that is going to land. Right. Here's the cool thing about it. I'm hitting the ribs. It's not the most powerful strike in the world. But if I hit on a downward angle instead of, or an upward angle instead of just straight in, right. you're going to get a little more power in that. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, it's not power, but it's going to be just the structure of his body, my body. When you breathe, your ribs, they float out this way. They don't go this way. Mm -hmm. So if I hit on an angle, there's a greater chance of breaking a rib, mm -hmm. which right. I really doubt you're going to break a rib from this strike. Right. But it's going to make them go, oh, a little bit more, mm -hmm. setting up for that eye rake too. Right. So when we do this kind of strike, we're not leaving that alone. Mm -hmm. So when someone says something about that's a weak strike, yeah. okay, yeah, but we're not leaving it completely alone. We're, Thinking about being proactive, mm -hmm. kind of flowing with it. I like this because this move here, if you're fast and you understand where your point is, if you can't get anything in here for some reason, he really goes down, you could probably come up and hit him right in the crotch. Okay. I, mean, I think you could get that move. And or like even if I hit that arm him. like you did, mm -hmm. check it out. Bend right. your arm. I'm hitting that arm, this right. becomes a check. Square punch. Right. Look at this. Check that knee. Square punch, buckle that knee out. You know, so that goes into the Kung Fu part of this, mm -hmm. of the Kempo. Right. The Kempo system that I teach has a, a part of Hungar in it. You know, and that's uh, been an influence that was added. I think uh, Ed Parker took some of that out when he did the American Kempo. If I'm wrong, some of you American Kempo guys, let me know. But I know from the system that I got from Al Tracy is, we call it Chinese Kempo. Right. So, all right, let's go into the, we're going to do a front kick, a side kick, a back kick. I'm going to let Paul do it. You're going to front kick to the front, to the side, to the back. We've done this before, I believe. Do it again, front, side, back. This is a good way of practicing for balance. One thing I don't like about doing this is when you, if you kick this way, that foot stays like that, that's a little wrong. You don't want to throw a side kick with your foot like that. But to try to do the drill, and pivot, you have to pivot back. Right. So try doing that. So now we're in a little more oh, advanced. Yeah. In the beginning, I didn't show you guys that. I was just showing you guys to just go front, side, yeah. back. Mm -hmm. That foot stays still. To be more advanced with it, yeah, you got to lift the heel up, turn mm -hmm. it. Right. So here, turn that, turn it back. Back kick. And look where you're kicking. Oh, that's going to take a little bit, isn't it? Yes. 
Then there's another pivoting drill you can do with it. It's front kick, side kick, back kick, and then back kick all the way to the front. I said back kick. Back kick. <laughs> back kick to the front. That's what I wanted to say. All right. Again, stumbling from failure to failure. <laughs> hey, <whoa. laughs> My speech stumbled from failure to failure. My failure is your success. <laughs> Go ahead, lift that foot up. Turn that foot. See, I'm not doing that with this foot. See, I had my toe lifted up, guys. I wasn't going as far. You know, I know my limitations. Make sure you have a surface that you can easily pivot on, too. Yeah. Well, you can hear my feet sticking. It's kind of nasty, but. Is that the funk from your foot? I don't know. It's, just, <laughs> it's like sandpaper. Is it like foot goo or something you got? <laughs> 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 All right, guys. All right, one more thing we're going to do is we're going to review the meltdown, and this is going to be with the front kick. The meltdown originally was a front kick, or back fist, reverse punch, roundhouse kick. That would go to the leg, to the body, or to the head. This time, we're going to take it to the body with the front kick, or the crotch, you can do it wherever. Right, one, two, bang. I started doing this in sparring after I conditioned my opponent. So when I'm sparring with someone, it's hard to condition your opponent when you're doing street fighting. You just got to take care of business. But when you're open sparring, there's no element of surprise, really, except for, you know, all right, here it is. We're fighting. Mark. We both have no element of surprise. We know that we're doing, you know, mm -hmm. we're going to get in the fight. We're going to be throwing stuff. Mark. Okay, so, but the element of surprise that you have in sparring now, basically, is conditioning your opponent. So I can try and melt that one, two wheel kick. I'm not doing it, guys, again, like I said, the toe. If I, all I can do is throw it up there, and then his reaction is to block it, not right. hit my toe. <laughs> but anywho, throw the back fist punch wheel kick in. I block it here while I'm staying like this. Do it again. One, two, bang. All right, now, from here, do it again. I may be blocking here, but that left me open right in the crotch or body here. So now you're conditioning your opponent. Right. Now remember what I was saying about this not being strong, right? Switch your stance. Now if I hit you in the bladder <laughs> or in the rib, if you hit the right target, it does, it could drop you pretty good. Yeah. I got kicked uh, this weekend just kind of demonstrating stuff with the kids in mm -hmm. sparring. I said stop for a moment, I was demonstrating how the one girl kept throwing a wheel kick. 11 year old girl kicked me in the bladder and it hurt for two days. You think you're dying for a moment. It didn't drop me because she didn't kick me that hard, but she kicked me hard enough, and it hurt for two days. It hit me right in the bladder. I'm like, man, I don't think I've ever been hit directly in the bladder like that. Mark. So just be mindful about this stuff for self-defense reasons. If it hurts, that's where you got to put it, right? Or right. right. you have to defend yourself. All right, so we got another quote for you guys. You know, I like this. I'm starting to really like this guy, and I got to get his book. You know, his book, uh, I tried, you know, my wife tried to find it for me and couldn't find a hard copy of it. She found it on the, you know, like, was it the Amazon Fire or, what, or whatever, it was the Kindle, that's what it is. The Kindle, she found it on where you get it on that, where you download it. I like to have a hard copy. I like to have something in my hands to read. But here's a cool thing. Everything I read from this guy is really awesome so far. Do not fear failure, but rather fear not trying. Start the new year, guys. Yeah. And don't just stop it because, oh, here's the thing about people. They start a new year real strong, and then they dwindle off to nothing. Yes. I see that one. By March. Yeah. By March. Yep. So you can rekindle your, your goals. Mm-hmm. Or break your goals up in quarters. Yes. Make quarterly goals, not a yearly goal. Mm -hmm. Or make one big yearly goal and then quarterly goals to work on that yearly goal. And then you'll come to the means mm -hmm. to the end. Right. Just like with these here, guys, I came up with four years of, of you know, plan for you guys. Capital for beginners, immediate, advanced, and then black belt. Mm -hmm. Well, each year was one. So one, this is year two, we're ending. This is the end of year two. Right. I got two more planned out. You know, that doesn't mean that that's subject to change as I go along, but mm -hmm. the thing is I made a plan and we didn't dwindle from it because I have it set. 
and that's what you guys got to do. So if you don't try, that's your failure. Right. That's the biggest right. failure you can have. Mm -hmm. It is. So, but yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our channel, Showdown One One Nine Seven, and you can see the description. I mean, you can see the icon coming up, the little belt. Mm -hmm. It says Show Can Showdown Nine Nine One or <laughs> Showdown One One Nine Seven. Again, I fail. I've been failing a lot. See, every time I talk about failure, I fail. Yeah. But it keeps trying. But anyhow, click on that icon. And mm -hmm. If you see another icon underneath there, that's a, that's the Grind Factor. That's my other channel. Check that out. Click on that. You want to support us in that? Check that out too. So, okay. thanks for watching. God bless. God bless. And, uh, and Merry Christmas. <laughs>